This is Pastor Ken Carlson once again with some stories about times when God did not heal people. The first story is from the life of Jacob. From his youth, Jacob was always quick to make a deal where he'd come out on top. He even weaseled his brother Esau into giving his inheritance over to Jacob. His conniving finally caught up with him. After years of separation, Jacob was going to see Esau, who was accompanied by a small army of 400 men. Now, who needs a bodyguard of 400 in order to meet a relative? Understandably, Jacob was nervous. He didn't know how deep the root of Esau's resentment had grown. So Jacob prayed to remind God of his promise to bless Jacob and his progeny, as if God needed reminding. Then Jacob did what he could to appease Esau with gifts the day before they were to meet. That night, a man showed up and wrestled Jacob all night long. Jacob figured out that it was he was wrestling God. The wrestling match was a draw, so God touched Jacob's hip, dislocating his thigh. Jacob held on, trying to extract a blessing from God. God blessed him with a new name, Israel, meaning he who strives with God. It was like a dad playing a game with his child and letting them win. But there were two reminders that God had let him win. One was the name change to Israel. The other reminder was that Jacob came away from that encounter with a limp. Not only did God not heal the injury, God gave the injury. We're not told why, but perhaps God wanted Jacob slash Israel to remember his dependence on his creator. It became an ongoing reminder to Israel's descendants, the Jews, who ever after would not eat meat that came from near the hip socket. Lord God, when we pray for healing and the healing doesn't come, we're left wondering why. Give us fortitude to wrestle with tough questions, insight into what you may be trying to teach us, and endurance to keep walking, even if it's with a limp. Amen.